Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So today I will be going over through all of the trophies that I have achieved of getting within Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. There are 51 trophies in total, 2 gold, 7 silver and 41 bronze and of course including platinum trophy. Let's begin. Environmentalists. Perform 5 unique environmental kills. I, uh, well, I just wanted to get the environmental kills as long as you grapple the enemy and you bring them to highlighted zone or the area, then you by press of a button you will do the environmental kill. In with the gang, complete night market chase, basically part of the story. Stuntman successfully perform an action hijack. It's one of the cool features of sleeping dogs, just basically jumping from a car to a different car. <laughs> A slap in the face, kill someone with a fish, as there are many varieties of weapons that you can use within sleeping dogs. One of them? Yeah, that's right. Take a damn fish and slap someone in the face with it, and kill them with it. <laughs> Slide silver. Achieve 5 silver stats of words. Now this is important, I will mention all about this near the end of the video, because this is one of my last trophies I had to get for this uh, platinum. Strike gold, achieve 1 gold stat award. As mentioned, I will mention near the end. Rookie, complete 10% of all mission cases, favors events, jobs and races. Basically, it's keeping track of what you do within this game. There will be even a, including 100% completion of this trophy. So take a bite out of a crime, complete a case. It's one of the, I believe, more or less of a side objective of this game. Minor face, achieve face level 2. Now there are three different leveling systems that Sleeping Dogs has. One is for the police, the other is for triad, and the uh, uh, third one is the face level. As long as you're playing through the game, as long as you're doing all the side quests and objectives and collecting things, you will get this leveled up, quite easily in fact. That'll show them. Complete payback. As a part of the story, Gold Rush, achieve 5 gold stat awards, you will get the stat surely as long as you keep on playing through the game. Officer, complete 25% of all missions, cases, favors, events, jobs and races, as mentioned regarding of the 10%, there will be more to come with this sort of survey trophy. Gadget Man, pick a lock, plant a bug, trace a phone, crack a safe and take over a spy camera. Basically, if you're going for the platinum trophy, you will get this naturally. A man around town. Visit Aberdeen, Central, Kennedy Town and North Point. Basically it's asking you to visit all the places within Sleeping Dogs. Gaining face. Achieve face level 5. As mentioned, you will level these things up very easily. Other than one progress. That is the triad. I will mention that near the end of this video. Substantial silver. Achieve 15 silver stat awards. As long as you're doing things within this game that is mentioned in the stats and you will get these stat rewards then you will get this trophy again i will mention more near the end a big betrayal complete dockyard heist is a part of the main story detective complete 50 percent of all missions cases favors events jobs and races mentioned it's only 50 percent way through Kleptomaniac, hijack 5 trucks and collect their cargo. There are specific trucks around the world that you can just simply hijack. You gotta get cops after you, but as long as you lose them, bring the truck back to the garage and then you will get this trophy by collecting all 5 of those trucks. Great Face, achieve face level 10. Level 10 is the maximum level. As you can see here, face level is completely done. Next up will be the police and then triad. Event Driven. Complete half of the open world events. These events only pop up as long as you're near them or in that vicinity. And it has to be made sure that it's not raining and it's also not a night time. It has to be all done within the during the day. So that was a, a little bit of a pain, but again, I got this trophy. Karaoke Superstar achieved 90% and above for all songs at the karaoke bars in HK. It's basically, well, it is very simple. It seems like it might be a little bit of a challenge, but I mean, like after one or two attempts, you can get this done very, very easily. Super Cup unlock 10 cup upgrades. This is basically, once again, a progress level. So in this case, we finally got level 10 and then we unlock 10 cop upgrades. As long as you level up, you will be able to get these upgrades. Case closed, complete all cases is basically a part of the side objective or side quests that you can do for these sorts of cases. 
gun nut, use 10 different firearms to defeat enemies. As long as you're picking up new weapons that you have not used before, make sure you kill the enemies with it, then yeah, you will get this trophy. Tourist, win a bet on a cockfight. Well, as it implies, make sure you put some sort of a bet, could be as small as you want or a, a big amount and make sure you win the cockfight. It is very RNG dependent, so yeah, gonna have to hope for a little bit too. And now this corner ties in nicely as well. Infallible, win 50,000 on a single cockfight. There's only, I believe, one area within this game that you can actually put 50,000 on the line. And again, this is RNG dependent. Uh, There's just no way of predicting the future. Save the game before you do this bidding. If you lose, just go back to your older save. Golden Touch, achieve 15 gold stat awards. Bounty Hunter, complete all Roland's jobs. This is pure side objective side quests that you'll have to do. Save Driver, cruise for two minutes over 60 kilometers an hour without damaging your car. I had to do this a few times and quite a few attempts. So I took the slow scar out there, went on the motorway, or you know, some people like to say the highway, and uh, yeah, made my way over, made sure not to crash, and two minutes, I finally got that trophy. Martial Law, defeat all four martial arts clubs. There are four martial arts clubs within the map of the Sleeping Dogs. Just go out there, defeat everyone, you will get this trophy. Whatever's handy, use 10 different melee weapons to defeat enemies. Now I got this after finally getting basically near the end of the game because you actually gain an additional weapon, then you will be able to get this tent de uh, melee weapon kill. Of course, make sure you use different weapons and after when you knock out or kill someone with it, then you'll get this trophy. Big smiles all around. Complete Big Smile Lee. It's part of the story. Central Scavenger. Unlock every lockbox in Central. As mentioned here, there are some, well, this is collectibles. Collecting all the lockboxes in Central Region. Way of the Road. Complete all street races. There are quite a few of them, and make sure you win them all. Well, then you're gonna get this. It's also advisable to do this near the end of the game, since you're gonna have the one of the fastest cars and bikes, so it will be much easier for time for you. Foodie. Try 10 different foods or drinks. I actually constantly just <laughs> fed myself since food is also a very big advantage for you to have. They actually can give you regenerative health or they can even uh, boost your melees. And so it makes total sense for you to constantly eat food within this game. Have drinks as well and just make sure you have 10 different varieties, then you will get this trophy. Mr. Nice Guy, complete all favors. Basically, a part of the objectives around the world that are highlighted in yellow, you complete them, then you'll get this trophy. Spiritual Healing, pray at all of the health shrines. This is again once a collectible, and as long as you pray to all of the, these shrines and you find them around the world, you will uh, gain extra health bar, and also you will get this trophy. West End Scavenger, unlock every lockbox in Kennedy Town and Aberdeen. Once again, collectible, unlocking all the lockboxes in Kennedy Town and Aberdeen, you'll get this trophy. This also kind of ties in nicely with, with Hong Kong Super Hacker. Hack every security camera in the game. It's once again collectible, as long as you hack these cameras all over the world, then you'll get this trophy. North Point Scavenger, unlock every lockbox in North Point, similar case. Fashion statement, change all your clothes in your wardrobe or a clothing store. Just change all your clothes, then you'll get the trophy. Sharpshooter, shoot out a cop's tires while fleeing in a police chase. I was actually quite surprised that I did not get this trophy while I was playing through the campaign. But again, as long as you gotta get your cops are after you, shoot out their tires, then you'll get this trophy. Auto enthusiasts purchase all vehicles. And so here is where the real grind has begun. So you actually have to purchase every single vehicle within this game. When you do so, you will get this trophy. Actually, getting all the vehicles is not the challenging part because there's actually a way of, well, having discounts for all the vehicles you buy, especially if you have and you're wearing proper clothing because that can gain you more discount percentage. But again, you'll have to have millions and millions of bucks 
uh, for you to make this kind of a purchase. Again, I advise you to use a little bit of a safe scumming. Just make sure you do utilize your save, purchase all the vehicles, make sure you have up to a million, some, maybe even five to six million, I'll say, to just to be in safe side. And purchase all the vehicles, and when you get the trophy, go back into your older safe because you will still need a lot of money what comes next. And I'm talking about fashion victim, purchasing all of the clothes. Because there's no way to utilize a discount for this. And you will need to have also a range of millions just so you can purchase all of the clothes within this game. And my goodness, I think actually the amount of clothes that you had to buy <laughs> is resulted of me using up almost all of my money even more than i thought than, than the vehicles incredible event planner complete all of the open world events there was already a previous trophy regarding getting half of the events completed but this time you have to complete all of them when you do so you will get this trophy chief inspector complete 100 percent of all missions cases favors events jobs and races this is a gold trophy meaning that yes you will get this trophy when you pretty much collect everything within this world. Alright, so here's the more of a challenging trophies. Well, you kind of have to pay attention. I should, say, I should not say that they're challenging. Solid silver, achieving 30 silver status awards. And this also kind of copes well with the next trophy. Pure gold, achieve 30 gold stat awards. Basically, stats referring to you have to do something particular within the game. As an example, you have to recklessly drive for many of minutes, up to 30 minutes, mind you, as quickly as possible on one of the best cars, getting particular headshots in like 50 or 100 in the amount. And there are 30 of them. Well, in total, there's actually 32. So you can skip two. And as you can see from the trophy, that I've got for the 30 silver stats, including the gold one, is basically, well, yeah, you have to do breaking a bone. <laughs> you have to break a bone in an opponent. If you do this up to 50 to 100 amount, you'll get the silver, and then you'll naturally get up to the gold. That was my last stat that I needed to get for the gold for my 30th gold. And here's my last trophy before I got the platinum. Ultimate Fighter. Unlock 10 triad upgrades. Basically, it requires you of getting level 10 in Triad. And man, this was a little bit uh, an awkward one. Because I was actually looking up on Reddit, online, everywhere, just to see how can I level up my Triad level. Because I was almost there and I just needed a little bit more. I need a little more push. So thankfully, you can replay some of the story missions. And as long as you do well, like if you do much better than previously that you've done before, you will level up. But if you don't perform well, then unfortunately it just will be a waste of time. So thankfully I found some Reddit, some people, and they gave me a little bit of an advice. And I uh, followed it through, and I finally got that uh, trophy. And it may result in me getting a platinum trophy by the name of Hong Kong Legend. Earn all of the Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition trophies to unlock this platinum trophy. This was an incredible experience, 33 hours and uh, I had a fun time with this game, nevertheless, because with its incredible storytelling, incredible voice actors, and the way that this game actually even made out to be, wow, I loved it. Thank you so much for watching, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.